Category 4 storm brought powerful winds after making landfall in the state of Louisiana in the United States, causing severe damage. Hurricane Ida has ripped through Louisiana on a path through the Gulf Coast, killing at least two people. Almost 400,000 people are without electricity in New Orleans alone. In fact, the storm has damaged buildings, caused massive power outages across the U.S. Gulf Coast. The aftermath was terrible and it could take months to repair this damage. The massive floodwaters also brought destruction further inland, leaving at least two people dead. Many residents were left stranded and were rescued by the United States Army and the Air Force in La Place, Louisiana. In the southwestern corner of Mississippi, Either neighborhoods were cut off from the outside world with many roads impassable. In fact, Louisiana was under a flash flood warning with the storm causing damage to multiple buildings across the historic French Quarter. Hospitals were under increased pressure as the state grappled with the dual challenge of storms and the coronavirus pandemic. According to its governor, John Bale Edwards, the focus now is on rescue and recovery efforts. He called on residents to stay sheltered in place and to remain indoors. US President Joe Biden has promised Washington's full and long-term support for those affected by the hurricane. In fact, this hurricane was compared with Hurricane Katrina, which devastated Louisiana exactly 16 years ago to the day. However, experts say that Ida was more feisty in terms of the winds as wind speeds of around 250 kilometers per hour were recorded.